What's going on everybody? It's Zero here and uh, wow, this is actually really loud background noise. Okay, that's alright. We can just dim that a little bit in the audio. But um, And uh, today we're going to be doing the final Legendary Dragon, Nadra. And um, this one is actually is kind of more like a two-parter, but I've already done it. So um, if you want to see exactly how you unlock Nadra, because unlike Dinral and Farash, she isn't actually free-floating. She's been corrupted by the Calamity and you have to free her. So... She's actually going to be right here on top of Mount Laneru at the Spring of Wisdom. Um, you're going to want a uh, uh, to get this shrine. It's one of the shrine quests that you'll be doing, and you need to get Nadra's Scale. The cool part about this is that once you're, she's here, you'll see that you have a bunch of eyes that you have to do. So you're going to shoot it, and then you have to go follow her around and shoot the rest of the eyes off her. And it can be kind of a pain in the ass, but... Once you do it, she's free, she comes right back and sits here, and then the um, statue, the goddess statue, will actually tell you to go ahead and shoot Nadra with an arrow, and you get a free scale off of her, and you basically, so you automatically get the shrine for free. And after that, she roams freely, and same time as always, she will be uh, roaming around Mount Laneru's area. So the easiest way to get to her is actually going to be right here on the Laneru Road, the East Gate, which if you also paid attention to... Or if you were doing the memories, you would know that this is actually memory 11 or something like that. I think it's memory 11. I could be wrong. But it's one of the memories with the gate that you're going to be doing. And be careful because there is um, a uh, Lionel roaming around around here. And he will potentially see you. And uh, But I'll get to that in a minute. So what we're going to do is from the Spring of Wisdom, you get to climb up the mountain. Lucky you. So... We get to literally climb this freaking mountain, and that's going to be so much fun. Okay. So, luckily for you, these ice pillars, or crystal pillars, whatever you want to call them, is actually, uh, they're climbable. Yay. Fantastic. Um, you just want to sprint up what you can, so that way you're not literally having to climb 24-7. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we get to the top here. And luckily for you, you get one extra pillar to jump onto, which helps. I'm not gonna lie, it really does help. So jump up onto this final pillar, and you should be right around right here somewhere. And if you look, well, maybe not. I'm just gotta get my bearings straight. Okay, so yeah, I was right. All right, so it is over there. It's just hidden by the fogs. So that's why you can't see the beacon. But if you look, you're Actually, no, I'm still off. What the hell? I don't know. Somewhere around this area. So you just want to jump off here and uh, get your bearings. And since you have your beacon on your map, you're going to be pretty much okay. So you'll just kind of fly away. And you're literally just going to paraglide all the way to it because you're high enough up there that you'll just paraglide right down into it. Yeah, see, there it is. Okay. I knew I was having it somewhere. I was just all confused. I was like, that's the snow field. I know where I'm at. So, um, you can't actually access from the paraglide, but if you can kind of see it, you can see the door that you're supposed to be landing at anyway. And you're just going to paraglide all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. The Lionel is actually like right to our left, bottom left corner of the screen. And so you want to avoid that guy as much as possible. Um, if you ever get an issue, if you have Ancient Arrows, you can actually hit them with the Ancient Arrow and they'll just disappear. You don't get any drops because you're not technically killing them, you're like warping them to another dimension. But, you know, hey, whatever works, right? Alright, so you've made it to the Lanayru Road East Gate, and as I said, sometimes she appears when she's not supposed to. But regardless, there she is. There's Nadra. So, I may actually not have to start a fire this time. But she's literally going to come right at you. She comes right here. And uh, the same thing as before. Uh, you're going to want to just catch the uh, what, tempo, the wind, whatever it is. The, the updraft, that's that's the word I was looking for. And uh, you'll be able to shoot her horn or whatever it is. But here's the tricky part. Sometimes um, when you after you shoot her parts... She keeps going straight, so a lot of the time, her parts are going to shoot way the heck down here, and that just sounds dirty, her parts. The, the drops are going to shoot way the heck ahead of you, 
it won't drop around in this vicinity. I actually searched for like 20 minutes after I first doing this because I couldn't figure it out and I didn't understand what was going on. So you're gonna wanna wait just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. So you might be able to do it. Let's just do this. Don't, okay, so, right, hit the scale and you see how it launches? It shoots way far away. find it. Now, the sucky part is that it may also go up on the mountainside. Right, so I think, I think that's what I think this one did. I think it launched up here on the mountain. So, yep, yeah, see? The Lionel was over there having a question mark because it saw us. It was like, what? We dead. So let's climb up this mountain real fast, see where it landed, because sometimes it can be a dick. There it is. So, See, sometimes it landed on the mountain, but there you go, nature scale. Um, and she also likes to teleport, so that's that. Um, uh, sometimes the wind can be tricky, and the updrafts can be tricky, so if you really want to make sure that you get your updraft, you can always like climb like right here, and just jump down and onto the updraft. Uh, I guess it's probably what I should have done to show you guys, but that's all right. Uh, it happens. So with that in mind, that is pretty much Nadra. Um, and that is all of the legendary dragons and how to get their drops and the best ways to find them and how to basically get to their areas in the easiest way, shape, or form. So if you guys enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a like down for me. I would appreciate it so much. And don't forget to check out our shrine guide that we're having to launch up. We're doing um, all 120 shines minus the original four because I'm doing that in the LP that we're doing. So that's actually, those four are also kind of the easiest ones. They're kind of self-explanatory. So, technically, it's going to be more like 116 shrines, but hey, you know, whatever. We're going through all the shrines. So, with that in mind, guys, I'm going to get the heck out of here. You guys be awesome and kind of one another.